In normal individuals, there is only a small R wave in V1, which is followed by a deep S wave, indicating left ventricular dominance. Tall R in V1 usually make us suspect right ventricular hypertrophy. But tall R in V1 can occur without heart disease due to misplaced chest leads, rightward shift of the heart, dextroversion due to congenital or acquired causes, and occasionally as a normal variant. The conventional true posterior wall myocardial infarction, lateral wall infarction, can cause tall R in V1, which is equivalent to deep Q waves in posterior leads, seen as a mirror image in anterior leads. Tall R waves in V1 may also occur in Duchenne muscular dystrophy and hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Right bundle branch block and axillary pathways causing pre-excitation of posterior or lateral walls can also manifest tall R waves in V1. In WPW syndrome, it is the anteriorly dilated delta wave which appear as tall R wave.